the situation in these societies and generates the appropriate changes. <coughs> Mrs Gill. Nina Gill, please. One minute. Thank you, President. And my congratulations, too, to the Rapporteur for his report on EU-ASEAN relations. President, I had the honour to represent this House at the ASEAN Interparliamentary Assembly in Manila fortnight back, and I very much concur with what Mr. Butifaka has said in relation to having dialogue with young people and also with the ASEAN parliamentarians. It's so important that we actually have dialogue with the ASEAN parliamentarian as opposed to just the individual bilateral relationships with, with uh, member states of ASEAN. Now, I raise the issues that this parliament has raised, condemning the atrocities committed in Myanmar against the Rohingya minority. I was the only one apart from Indonesian head of delegation to do so. Yet afterwards, delegates from many other countries came up and said they really did uh, support and we had to do more to work together to stop these atrocities. And through you, President, I would like to extend an invitation to the ASEAN parliamentarians if we can. Thank you. Thank you.